Well, hello there, my fellow crafty friend. Today I have another Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. And today we are going to be talking about Procreate and how we can use that in conjunction with our Silhouette Studio. So without further ado, I'm going to pull out my iPad and we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Procreate app, which is this one right here. It opens up and it's going to, um, I Let's open up to the main and I've got like all my different drawings here. I'm going to go ahead and start with something new and I like to do screen size and it's going to go ahead and open it up and you can shrink that so you can kind of see where your borders are. And I like to start by just kind of sketching out a rough idea of what the shape I want to do and we're going to try to draw a gnome today. Now disclaimer, I am by far not a good artist. Um, but I'm going to try my best, so please don't laugh at my drawing skills. So I am, uh, you can pick your different pencils here. I like to start with the 6B pencil, which is a sketching pencil. And these are all just standard um, brushes that are in Procreate. And I'm just going to start off by drawing the basic shape of what I want my gnome to be. So I know he's going to have a really funny hat. And... Um, so like his hat might go like that. And then his basic shape is kind of um, kind of a blob. So once I have kind of a basic shape for what I want him to be, I'm gonna open up a new layer. And then I'm also gonna change my color. And uh, I'm gonna sketch again to try to just get a really good sketch of what I want. Now that I have kind of a rough idea. So I, I want him to be um, and I'm just going to draw right over this, but I want him to be more kind of, so that's what his body would look like. And then his beard might come in, a couple jacket edges here, and then go back out. And we can mess with that some too. Um, and then um, really the gnomes just like have a nose hanging out and then we're gonna draw his hat which as you saw I want it to be one of those little maybe we want him to have a really big hat like that and then we can have a little ball at the end and maybe I don't really want his hat to be that large but you can come over here and I can turn off that one. This looks a little bit more like what I really want. I, I'm not overly impressed with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another sketch layer. And this is just kind of my process of um, how I sketch things out, just to get it more how I want it before I do the final trace. So I'm not in love with his um, hat, just making sure I'm on a separate layer, his hat being quite so long. But the rest of him I do um, really like. So I'm gonna keep this same basic shape here. And then we can mess with his beard some. I think he needs a little more jaggedness to it. And then his hat kind of cuts across his nose. And then you're just gonna see like the bottom half of his nose. And I like the long hat, but maybe not quite so long. Maybe like that. And then you can have like a jingle bell on there. Okay, so let's turn off that layer. Yeah, I think that I'd like that better. His beard still needs some work, so I might just come in here with a different color and see if I can't get his beard looking better. Uh, and you can always just undo. Okay, I think I like that better. So then when I'm totally ready and I have it how I want, again, I'm gonna do another layer. And then this time I'm going to go over to um, my calligraphy brushes. And I like the mono line is um, the one I like to use. And then I'm just going to do it in black. And then I'm just going to trace this pretty well. And that'll be the outline for my cut file. And that's actually really thin. So I'm going to come over here and turn up the brush size. And 
then I'm really just tracing this line to get a nice solid good line here. And I'm just trying to, uh, I don't really like that. I'm trying to kind of smooth out both sides so that they look the same. So I'm gonna trace again. So you notice the right side doesn't look quite as well. There. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the hat because I do like the way the hat looks. And I'm just gonna do the outline. And then here I'm gonna come up There, I think I like the way that looks. So now I can turn off my underneath layers and then there's my final project. Uh, so now what I can do is if I'm gonna stick with that, I'm gonna go to the gallery and I'm going to select and I'm gonna hit share as a PNG. And if you have AirDrop, you can AirDrop it to your computer. Um, I do not, I have a PC, so I'm gonna email it to myself And then once you've got that done, you can go ahead and pull out your computer and then um, pull it into Silhouette and we'll, I'll meet you there. All right, so I've got Silhouette Studio open and I've already downloaded my file from my email into my downloads folder. I'm gonna navigate to that and then let that open the PNG file in Silhouette Studio. Remember, we're using the PNG, not the JPEG. And um, it's a little bit big, that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and click and resize. Just grab one corner and resize it down to your art board. And then we're gonna go over to our trace panel. And we're gonna do this just like you would do any PNG file that you wanted to turn into an SVG cut file. So I'm just tracing that. And then once I've got it where I want it, I'm just gonna hit the trace button. And then I can go ahead and remove the uh, PNG file that I brought in. So you can see it's gonna leave those red lines, which is going to be our cut lines. So we can delete the PNG, and now we can work with this. So right now, this is one complete compound path. So if I go ahead and fill it with a color, you'll see that it's just gonna fill in the outline. So how do we fill in color in the rest of it? We are gonna right click and hit release compound path. And now you can see it filled the entire thing with color, which is what we wanna do. So now I can click on each of these parts and change the color. And this is how you would do this, especially if you wanted to do this as a print and cut. All you would need to do is change the colors here and then you could easily print it. And let's change the nose to a nice little pink color. And we'll make that hat in a nice red. And the ball here will make that yellow to make it look kind of like a Jingle Bell ball. Okay, so we've got all of our colors in here. So now, if we go over to the sun panel, let's see what it looks like. And you can see where our cut lines are at. And if you looked at it like this, you would think that this is going to work and cut everything out. However, if you want to cut all of the pieces out and either paper piece this together or cut it out of different colors of vinyl, there's a few more steps that you need to take. I'm gonna go back to design and let me show you. So if I pull this piece out of here and I just pull all the pieces apart, you'll see that you're left with just the brown will fill in with the rest of it. And that's not really what we want to do. So we can pull those apart and now you can have just the colored pieces, but like I said, you're gonna have a silhouette layer here. If you wanted to do it this way and then just layer those on that silhouette and just try to give yourself a nice border, you could certainly do that. But there's another step that we can do to make sure we get the outline cut out plus all of the center pieces cut out. So in order to do that, 
we're going to use the Alt or Option key, and that's what gives you that plus sign, and we're going to drag over a copy of each of those colored parts. So you can see it gives you that little plus sign, and I didn't get it on that one, so let's Control Z to undo. We're going to do Alt, get that little plus sign, and then pull over another copy of the colored parts. So now when I do it this way, I can use the color pieces to cut out a different colored cardstock or different color vinyl. And then if I grab all of the pieces from the original and say make compound path, now I'm back to the drawing that I made in Procreate. So it's just the outline of everything. And now you've got your outline and all of your pieces. When you go back to your send panel, you can see it's now gonna cut out each of the pieces and it's also going to cut that thin strip a border of the brown around the entire design so that's how you want to do it if you want to be able to layer this with different colors and take a drawing that you made in procreate bring it over into silhouette studio and make yourself a new SVG cut file now word of caution is that if you want to be cutting this out of vinyl or out of paper especially you want to make sure that this border is thick enough that um, you can actually cut it. So that's something you need to think about. Whereas if you just want to do a print and cut, um, you know, you can make those lines a lot thinner. But if you want to cut all of the parts out of paper or vinyl, you need to have a thicker border here or use it as a silhouette and layer those pieces on top. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Procreate into Silhouette Studio. If you did, like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Crafty Christie's Creations Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.